Hey, uh, can I tell you a secret? When 21 Jump Street came out, I did not see it because one, it looked whack, and two, I wasn't really reviewing movies as much as I am now. Um, but apparently it was good, and even 22 Jump Street knows that people like me exist. And you know what? It doesn't matter because I went and saw 22 Jump Street, and I must say, I believe the hype. <laughs> Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum are back at Schmidt and Janko, and I must say the chemistry between the two of them is phenomenal. I'm really not a Channing Tatum fan. Um, I just think he's one of those stiff actors, and granted, he's been doing better maybe as of late, but um, man, this movie is perfect for him. So just to get the plot out of the way, basically it's the same as 21 Jump Street, except it's on a college level. Um, the guys are trying to investigate a new drug that's on campus and someone has died from it. So they're trying to find, you know, who the bad guy is, who's stealing the drugs on campus and bring them in. Okay, now that that's out of the way, um, the funniest part is that the film actually talks about it and it knows that it's the same plot. It knows that it's a Hollywood sequel um, and it continuously comes up within the film. Um, some kind of way they managed to get away with that though because it's witty, it's, it's kind of fresh. Yeah, I gotta give the writers credit because they were able to give not just uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum some shine in this film, but also the ancillary cast. Um, Jillian Bell just gives a hilarious performance uh, Every time she's in a scene with Jonah Hill, it's almost like she's kind of winning out because I mean uh, It's kind of hard to do when he's on a roll ice cube has oh man ice cube is Really in terms of 1980s buddy cop movies like Beverly Hills cop You always had that angry captain and that's who ice cube is playing um, But the thing that I loved about this movie is that they gave him a reason to actually be that angry cop and there's this hilarious scene um, in which he has all the reason to start yelling and barking and like hating uh, specifically Jonah Hill's character. Um, and it's just hilarious. You got to see it. I don't want to give it away, but oh man. And so that continues throughout the movie. So it's just ingenious ways that they bring um, different gags into the film and different twists that I didn't really see coming at least. You know, overall, I did kind of feel like uh, it could have been uh, 20 minutes shorter, but that was just me, and I saw it at like 10:30 p.m. And don't, don't, don't do that to a film. But I still was laughing and stuff. It was just I'm an old man. It, it, it was too late. It was past my bedtime. It was like 12:45 a.m. when I got out, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is what the world looks like. Ah, why am I not at home? <laughs> it drags a little bit um there's some overused gags in the film but the way that it's self-aware but it's uh it's very smart at the same time and it doesn't actually give you that wink fest and it doesn't give you the wink fest uh for that reason alone uh you know it's, it's definitely worth the watch is it a classic comedy that you know i plan on putting on this bookshelf not necessarily, but that's just me personally. It might be for you, um, but it's definitely entertaining. And uh, I think anybody that goes to see it this weekend is definitely going to get a laugh. Um, I give it a B minus. You can check out more reviews on PictureLockShow.com. Uh, if you live in the D.C., Maryland or Virginia area, I'm giving away screening passes uh, to see films. So make sure you uh, subscribe to our online uh, biweekly newsletter. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter at Picture Lock Show. Find us on Facebook. Give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you stay locked on film.